Hi, I'm Vanessa Chumley. Take a good look at the steakhouse choice beef rib roast I purchased from Albertsons. Today we're going to make a mouth-watering maple glazed rib roast with roasted acorn squash. First, we'll preheat our oven to 350 degrees so it's waiting for us when we're ready. So we'll go ahead and place our rib roast in a shallow roasting pan fat side up with a rack so heat can reach every side. Now our glaze is a combination of pure maple syrup, fresh thyme, and chopped garlic. And we're gonna brush it on every side of our roast. And I love this glaze because you get the strong flavors of the garlic, the fresh flavors of the thyme, the sweetness of the syrup, and it all pairs so wonderfully with a rich and tender roast beef. Now I already reserved a quarter cup of the glaze for our roasted acorn squash, but the rest of this glaze we're not gonna get rid of. We'll save it because we're gonna brush it again to our roast about halfway through the cooking time. So we'll get the underside of our roast. Now it looks gorgeous and it's ready for the oven. We'll cook this for three hours or just under, but of course to know exactly when to remove our roast, we'll use a meat thermometer. We know it'll be ready for us when the internal temperature reaches 150 degrees for medium. And don't forget, about halfway through cooking time, we'll brush it again with that delicious glaze. I removed our roast and let it rest 15 to 20 minutes. So all of the roast natural juices could make their way into every bite. And the final temperature reached 160 degrees for medium. So we'll carefully remove the strings from our roast and remember, when your butcher prepares your rib roast, they retied the backbone for added flavor during cooking. So we're just gonna very carefully remove the meat from that backbone so it's ready for carving. And as always, we wanna slice our rib roast against the grain so every bite is tender and juicy. Take a look at that. And the maple glaze made a caramelized crust on our roast that you're just gonna wanna dig into. We're serving this today with our roasted acorn squash. The kids loved this meal, and I know your family will love it too. For this recipe and many more, check out our YouTube channel.